What is going on guys? Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn how to extract information from PDF files in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so when preparing the code for this video, I wanted to find a solution where I can use just one simple Python library to work with PDF files, to extract tables, to extract images, to extract text and so on, all with one simple library. And even though I think it's possible to do all this with one of these libraries, uh, I figured out that it's better or easier to use different libraries for the different use cases. So if you want to extract images, there's a library that makes it easy for you. If you want to extract text, there's a library that makes it easy for you. And if you want to extract tables, there is a different library that makes it easy for you. So we're going to do in today's video, three sections where we use three different Python packages to do three different things with PDF files. If you're working on a huge PDF parsing project, maybe you should not rely on many libraries, but uh, use as few libraries as possible. So maybe you should go deeper into one library and figure out how to do all the things with one library or even develop the process from scratch. But for, uh, for, for this video today, we're going to look at three different packages because I think a lot of you guys will be interested in simple approaches. How can I get the images? How can I get the text? How can I get the tables? And uh, work with the data that I get there. So we're going to do it like that. And the first thing we want to do is we want to install the package PDF miner dot, uh, dot six. So pip install PDF miner dot six. And this is the library that we're going to use to extract text to process text from PDF files. And for that, we're going to import also the regular expression module, uh, which is what we're going to use to find certain patterns of strings, uh, just so we have something to do with the data that we get. I have a video on this module already. It's part of the core Python stack. You don't need to install it. Uh, and then we're going to save from PDF minor dot high level. We're going to import extract pages and extract text. Now I hope this is uh, a, you, you can see this and I'm not blocking this with my camera. Um, but there you go. So we're going to import that. And then we're going to say now for page layout in extract pages, and we're going to provide here, I didn't show you that. Um, we're going to use this sample PDF file here where we have just a simple heading neural nine sample PDF file, then we have some text and then we have here a table and then we have an image. So we're going to extract the individual elements here. So we're going to say now for page layout in extract pages of sample PDF, we're going to say for element that we have in the page layout, we're going to print that element. And you're going to see that we get a lot of different elements. We have um, a text box, we have another text box and so on. Then we have the rectangles. This is the table. Uh, and then down here we have somewhere the LT figure and part of that LT figure is the LT image, but we're not going to use this library here to extract the image, even though it would be somehow possible. We're going to work with a different library for the images here, but this is how you extract the individual elements so you can look at them. So let's get rid of, uh, let's get uh, rid of all this and let's say text equals extract text and provide sample PDF here. This is how you get, of course, we need to print it. This is how you get all of the text quite simple. That's already it. You get all of the raw text here also from the table and so on. And now we can apply regular expressions, we can filter manually, we can do whatever we want with the text. Uh, this is actually all you need to do to get the text. So you don't even need to have the extract pages unless you want to go page by page and extract the individual elements, you can just do extract text from the PDF file. Uh, and now we can do stuff like uh, the pattern is going to be re.compile. So we're going to compile a simple pattern. And we're going to say we want to find for this, we're going to add an R here, we want to find anything that starts with a lowercase or an uppercase character. Um, at least one of those and then is followed by a comma exactly one comma. Uh, and then followed by a space exactly one space. So this is a regular expression, we say, any letter that is uppercase or lowercase, at least one, but as many as we want, followed by one, uh, by exactly one comma and followed by exactly one space. And now we're going to look for that pattern in, uh, in the text, and we're going to say matches equals pattern dot find all. And um, we're going to look in the text. And then we can print the results here. So we can print the matches. I'm not sure if we're going to see the actual matches. There you go. Yeah, 
we can see Mike, Sarah, Bob, John. So the, the purpose here was to get the names, we can see letters followed by a comma and a space. This is the only um, thing we have here. Now in this case, Emma will not be found because we didn't specify. Uh, we cannot find Emma based on that because uh, Emma doesn't have a comma in the space afterwards. Um, but you can you can refine that regular expression if you want to. And then we can uh, do names equals for example, and I can say n up until uh, the comma. So we're going to exclude the comma and we're going to exclude the space so the last two characters for n in matches, and then we can print the names and we have a list of names, even though Emma is missing um, with that approach. So we extract the text, we use a regular expression to extract the individual names or some of them. And this is how we extract text from a PDF file. This is quite simple. So next, we want to look at how we can extract images from PDF files. And for that, we're going to need more libraries, we're going to open up the command line and say pip install pymu PDF. This is a library that we're going to use for that. And of course, we're also going to need pillow, not for the PDF part, but because pillow is what we use oftentimes to work with images. So we're going to say pip install pillow. And then we're going to import now surprisingly, fits fits is the module that we're going to import here. Uh, this is what we get by installing pymu PDF. And we're going to import pill dot image, which is part of pillow. So even though the packages are called like this, this is what we import here. Uh, and also we're going to import a core Python module IO, which is the input output module because we need to use bytes IO to work with the image data. And what we're going to do now is we're going to say PDF equals fits dot open sample dot PDF. So now we have this PDF object. And I'm going to say now that I want to have a counter starting at one because I want to extract all the images. In this case, it's simple because I only have one image. But if we have multiple images, we can iterate over them and extract them. So I'm going to say here counter equals one, we're going to make this scalable for I in range length of the PDF. So this is basically for each page, what we're going to do is we're going to say page equals PDF I. So length PDF gives us the amount of pages. Uh, in this case, again, only one page, but if we have many pages, this is going to iterate over the pages. So we get the respective page. And then we say images are page dot get images. So we get all the images from that page. And then we iterate over the images. So we say for image in images, we're going to say that the base image that we're going to work with is going to be equal to PDF dot extract image. And we're going to pass here the image, and then image index zero. This is now the base image. Now we're going to get the image data, which is going to be the base image, the actual image, because the problem is that uh, maybe I should show this here. If I print the base image, the base image is not the image data, the base image uh, is a dictionary with certain metadata with uh, meta information, and then we have the image itself. Uh, can I find it? Yeah, the image itself is then no, I cannot scroll. There you go. The image itself is then the bytes of the image. So we need to get the image key key value paired to actually get the image data. Then what we're going to do is we're going to say that the image, uh, maybe I should call this e IMG now because I already have image up here. The IMG is going to be equal to pill dot image, which is going to be created by open. So pill image open and we're going to pass your IO bytes IO. And we're going to pass the image data. And then we're going to say the extension extension is going to be determined by whatever the image is. So we're going to say from the base image, we also have a key value pair, which is the extension ext. And then we're going to save the image with a certain file name. So we're going to say image, or actually img dot save. And we're going to say, then we want to open a file stream, and we're going to pass an F string here image counter dot whatever the extension is. This is what we want to do. And this is a write writing bytes stream. And then we want to increase the counter by one in case we have more than just one image. So we run this and there you go image one dot PNG and we would have image two, three, four, and so on. If we would have multiple images on multiple pages. 
So last but not least, we're going to look at how to extract tables from PDF files and easily turn them into pandas data frames so that we can work with them in data science processes. And for that, we're going to use a library called tabula. So for that, we open up a command line pip install tabula dash py, which is again a library that has a different name when we install it than when we import it because we import just tabula, not tabula py. And what we do now is we say the tables of the PDF file are going to be equal to tabula dot read PDF sample dot PDF. And if you want, you can also provide pages here. So you can say pages equals and you can provide something like one or you can even provide something like all and all basically means all the pages. In this case, it doesn't make a difference because we have only one page. And from that PDF file now we already have the tables because tabula already takes the table. So when we read a PDF file, we don't have the different elements, we only have the tables. So actually, I can just print here tables. And you can see, uh, first of all, pages argument isn't specified, uh, specified will extract only from page one by default, we can also say pages equals all doesn't really matter. Let's run this again. But you can see now we have a list of uh, pandas data frames. In this case, we only have one data frame. But if I say print tables zero, you can see that we have the actual pandas data frame here. And I can also say type. By the way, you should also install pandas if you don't have it. So you can go into the command line and say pip install pandas. Um, but you can see here that the type of what we get from tabula is pandas core frame data frame. So it's a data frame that we get here, which means that we can store it now we can say df equals table zero, and we already have uh, the data frame, we can go ahead and print it again. And we can use uh, the functions, we can use the methods that we can use on ordinary uh, pandas data frames, we can also filter the data by saying data frame is um, data frame is the full data frame, and we want to get the entries where the age is above 30, for example, so data frame dot age above 30. <clears throat> and then we get a limited output. So that's probably the easiest um, of all the three. So images was a little bit more complex, getting the text was not really complex, we just had to extract it. But this is very, very easy. You just say read PDF, you provide a PDF file and you get a list of pandas data frames. This is very convenient. And um, if you have a PDF file with a lot of tables that you want to process in a data science um, project or something, this is a very useful library. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.